Hey guys, what's up? Um, today we're gonna be doing a shoe shoe collection video. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, just because I wanted to wait until my new shoes got in, and I just did a video about unboxing those. But we're gonna go ahead and do a shoe collection today. Um, I have a decent amount of pair of shoes, and we're also gonna do my jewelry. Now I'm not gay. I don't fucking Excuse my language. Um, I don't freaking like jewelry. I know I I just wear watches and a few chains, but mostly I wear watches because I like dressing like I'm not no white trash and you know I like dressing dressing nice and looking nice. So yeah, we're gonna get into that. So I'm gonna go get my shoes. I got all sorts of different kinds of shoes whole bunch of different brands you know from running type shoes to um you know running shoes to nice shoes to a whole bunch of different things Okay, so let's get into this. Um, back the camera up to you guys can see here. You can't, you can't see the ones on the ground, but this would be a good angle for the ones up here. So these, okay, so this one, this pair right here, this pair, this pair, and this pair are gonna be the shoes I'm wearing um, a lot more. These are my new shoes. Um, they're nice shoes. They look good on me. They can you can dress them up, dress them down. Um, just real nice shoes. I didn't cost much help either. So, first pair we got here is we got a pair of checkerboard high top bands, and these are my skate shoes. And I used to wear these. Out. I used to wear these a lot, and I'm flat foot, so these shoes feel comfortable to me. But they're just there's just no like cushion in them. And for people who have arches in their feet, in their feet, um, they're not very comfortable to them. But I like these for skating, and they're beaten up too. So you know, I guess while we're at the vans, we can do my other vans. So these right here, I'll just show one of them. These are my checkerboard slip-ons, and these are nice shoes too. I mean, they're starting to get super shredded on the inside. There's like a hole in the end where you put your toe at, and they're just they're just old and they're real bendy. The worst thing about vans is when you bend them, they get like this hole in the toe where you crease, and they're just dirty. And but until I got these shoes in today, the those are basically like the only two pairs of shoes that I was wearing. Oh. Other than my boots, which these are my boots. Yes, I do wear boots too. These are some survivor boots. And they're awesome and they're very comfortable. Highly recommend. Those boots I think were $80. I got those for Christmas though. These high top bands normally run for $60. And then these low top ones right here normally run for, normally run for like $50. Highly recommend if you skateboard, highly recommend if you're flat foot, but if you're arched or you like cushion shoes, don't get fans. Um, right here, I got some slides. Now, I'm not into Gucci. I don't, I don't think designer is worth what they call, what they, what it costs. And you can get better alternative, better looking alternatives than Gucci and stuff like that. But, no. A long time ago, I was into Gucci, and I, I wanted Gucci, and I wanted Louis Vuitton, and I wanted Fendi, and now I don't want any of that. Now I got all these nice-looking shoes, and I got some nice button-up, nice pullover polos, nice jeans. Looks better than Gucci. But these are just some Green Bay Packer slides that I got from Rainbow Field, and so these ran for like forty, like thirty bucks, I think. And yeah, so I'm I'm a Packers fan. If you didn't know, I like the Packers, the Ravens, and the Falcons. 
but just some nice slides to wear around the house and you know all that good stuff. I actually have another pair of vans in here that I forgot to show, but I'll show you. Um, these are just some dress shoes. Now, if you watch Alpha Male, Alpha Male, I love his channel. He's what got me to get these shoes and you know look nice and casual. But these are some George. I think there's like Walmart brand. Um, they're not the duck boat because they're ugly and they're not the point because they're freaking ugly too. These are brown toe. And they're really light, and they're, and they're nice shoes. I mean, they got me through in a pinch when I needed them to. Um, I don't remember doing the jewelry thing, too. So here are my um, runners. These are my brand new runners. They're like, kind of like a cream white, like a gray. And that's the brand. I'm not going to try to pronounce that because I'll probably screw it up. But these are really light shoes. Um... Those George shoes ran for like 10 bucks. These are for like 15 And they're super comfortable. Highly, highly recommend. Got those off of Amazon. Um, in this Nike box, there, there's not Nike shoes. It's not a 60th and these were not $34. I just, put, I just put the shoes in here because these are, um, nice shoes. These are my kind of glittery silver metallic style and blue vans and these are very 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 hard to find um you can get pairs like these but you normally get them in red i don't think i got these with steel i think i got these for like 40 bucks and normally around like 70 um depending on where you go but these are fly they look good with a nice pair of jeans and a nice and a nice like you know color matching flannel or a black flannel super super fly um just super nice looking uh, I don't have the red ones, red ones, just because I don't really, I'm not gonna really wear Vans much anymore, just because they're not that comfortable to wear as an everyday shoe, and you know, I want something that's gonna be comfortable. So, yeah, um, these are some. Alpine Swiss shoes. Um, just got these. These have a horrific smell. I put some air fresheners in there. I might put some more, a few more in there because these smell horrendous. But these are what they look like. They're lime green. And the brand's called Alpine Swiss. And they're kind of hard at the moment, they're sold because they've been out in the cold for a few hours. But, just some nice, just regular shoes that don't look bad. They look, I actually have a shirt that don't match that. Most people think I'm crazy for getting lime green because they don't match with anything. But a nice um, color matching shirt, which I think I have one that'll match her. A nice black pair of jeans and a nice black shirt will match. Now these are under the shoes that I'm gonna be wearing a lot, a lot, a lot because I just want to look nice, you know I worked my butt off to get where I am I worked my butt off to get the jewelry I have and I don't want to, you know wear sweatpants with them look stupid but, yeah so I do with these nah, because those are pretty dressy looking but these are some Bruno Mark York. oh, those Alpine Swiss runs you like 20 bucks if you guys didn't know 17, something like that, I don't know Become a nice dust bag. This couch. And these are just some nice gray, charcoal gray, Bruno Mark, kind of like ch Chucka boots. Super, super nice for the price that I paid for them. Um, I think I paid like 25 bucks for these. You can get them in different colors, but I got gray because I think gray looks the sleekest. Um, and because I got another pair of shoes right there that are a different color. But these are super, super nice. I'm going to tell you this. If you want to keep your shoes nice and clean and um, that's free, keep, whenever you get a new pair of shoes, keep them in the box because the box keeps dust out. And if you, you got dust bags like these shoes do, then you know, you'll be good. Another pair of, last pair of um, Bruno Marks. Now these are 
not everybody style everybody's style of shoe. But these are definitely, definitely, definitely my style. I love these. These are kind of like some loafer type deal. They got this buckle. To the tag. They got this buckle on the front, and they're like tan, and they're brown on the bottom, and they got like this little here on the back. I still haven't taken the padding and stuff out of them. They're still. Oh. That's not cool. Um, let me cut this tag off so you all can see the inside of them. So that's the design of their comfort technology and they just look really nice on foot with a nice pair of jeans. And I'm definitely going to have to get some no-show socks, but you know, you can't get much more classy than that. And I think these look very, very beautiful. And I just don't think you can get a better looking shoe for the price I paid. I think these are also like 25 bucks. Which is crazy, because those are super, super nice. Real leather, too. Turn the camera on. I'll show you where I put these away at. And if you all want a, like, a fashion thing, like, you know, what I wear on a daily basis and, you know, how to look nice and clean, um, let me know, because I can, I can do one. I mean, we here, we are here to teach, I'm here to teach you things. Um, if you also don't know what I put in these things, um, there's an old fact, gain pot, um, gain, uh, what are they called? Dryer sheets. They keep things going nice. Um, little pro tip, put those in your drawer full of clothes and they keep your clothes smelling super, super, super fresh, even up to how long, even up until how long you're ever going to wear them. But they're super, super handy. If you got stinky shoes like these, ones that I haven't even worn yet, they're so stinky because the chemicals on them. I definitely recommend some uh definitely recommend some uh gain I mean some uh, not some, some dryer sheets of your scent. Because yeah. Run low on battery here, but I just, you know, shove those in there. Shove those in the side, because those are like my old shoes, and, you know, you don't want the old mixture. I'm going to put my boots right here. I actually used to wear my boots quite often, but now that I got my new shoes, I'm not, probably not going to do so much. So, let's run over here to my jewelry box. Uh, bring the camera down so y'all can see. Zoom in a little bit. I want to do a few more videos about stuff like this, you know, and like how to look nice and all that. So maybe I will. So this right here is my like little jewelry box. Um, like I said, I'm not gay. It's just something to keep your nice chains and watches it. So yeah. So when you open it up, that's what you see. Oh gosh. Um, if you wonder what I threw over here, this is my sunglasses case that I keep. I gotta find somewhere else to put this box. And we got some out of focus. Focus. Okay, so this right here is a watch I don't really wear often. I need to get it resized to my wrist. This is actually my grandpa's watch. And I'll put it on hand for y'all. This stupid watch always does this crap. There we go. You can see here it's a little bit big for my hand, but it's a nice, very nice um, gold watch. Um, like I said in my last video, I made I got bought a new another watch, so it should be here soon. Um. That's a very nice watch. Nice to wear with the Bruno Marks that I have and all that. It's very nice, very nice. Um, right here, I keep my good sunglasses in here. 
because don't want them broken or scratched or anything of that sort. So no, you just lay them in there. And it's, I mean, this jewelry box is covered in felt. Most jewelry boxes are. And you know, that just keeps your stuff just nice looking. Kind of takes up some space, but I don't have a lot in here anyway. Um, this is my other watch. This is kind of like a casual watch for me. This is a Walmart watch. It's like seven bucks. But it's very nice. Got the big numbers on it. Got some silver. Got the silver. It's got the leather band on it. Pretty small head. I mean, I, I mean I'm 15. I got 100 and some pounds. And it's a pretty good size for my wrist. So I like that watch. Nice casual looking watch. And then these are some chains, but, you know, me dressing nice like I do, I don't really wear these much anymore. But if I do, it's something rare, kind of. I bought these on sale. They were like two bucks. Um, just a chain, like a regular gold chain. And then this watch, this watch, this chain is super long. And it's got a diamond studded cross on it. It it looks nice. I don't really wear it that often. If I when I whenever my new watch comes in, I'll do a video on that, and I'll do a I'll do a video on that, and um. Pretty much it guys like comment subscribe let me know what you think of the shoes let me know what your favorite pair was and like always just have a good day